you just saw my old sponsor me video well i'm basically gonna watch it and then give you guys just a little insight on maybe clips and i don't know give you my thoughts on the whole thing so for most of it i was about 14 14 15 and i think there might have been one clip where i was 16. at the time i was trying to like make a sponsor me video and like i was trying to get sponsored by the local skate shops and I remember I would put together, at first we were just using this like really crappy high eight camera and like it sucked, but whatever, we were, at, we were using it, you know? Every video I, I brought to these these skate shops, just like deny, deny, deny. But the thing is, is like, like, I just, I was so ambitious about it and I wanted it to work that I kept trying. I had talked to the, the owner of, I don't know if it was the owner, someone working at Five Points. I brought him my video and he's like, he kind of put me down kind of hard. He's like, hey bro, like, have you ever seen the toy machine video? Like, if you're not gonna be skating up to that level, don't even bother. I remember being like, whoa, dude. Like, okay, <laughs> like, my bad. Anyways, so I remember I bought a five points board the day I tried to Ollie Hollywood High 16. Brand new, and like, I posted that video recently and, and there was a lot of people being like, man, if your board wasn't like so old and beat up, that wouldn't have happened. But people don't know that I had a brand new five points board when I tried to ollie it that first time. It was just the cheapest wood ever, dude. And like the second it hit the ground, you I mean, you see it. Like here, let me watch it real quick. Yep, I saw it and it just like, and it was funny because like, you think the tail would just snap, but it just like split in half completely. I ate shit, that hurt so bad, man. And like my buddy Omar was actually filming the video and you just hear him in the background, he's like, fuck. It's just like, <laughs> I'm just like, and I'm in pain, dude. I'm just like, like I thought I had it. I really did think I had it. Anyways, let's let's move on. But yeah, that board is brand spanking new and it just snapped on me. But I was trying to impress the skate shop. So I bought their board on purpose to like show them like I'm skating your boards in my video. Didn't work out so well. All right, let's keep going. Boom, back three into that piece of wood. The dude in the background dropping his board was my homie Jay Boog. And back in that time, I would go to Oxnard Skate Park all the time, right? And like, uh, I, was, I felt like I was a loner at the time because like my crew skating with me at the time, they like all, it was right around the time where they all just, they quit. It was either a girl or they wanted to like do something else. They, they were over skateboarding. And I was just the one person in the crew that like, I just loved it. I loved to skate so much. Like I didn't want to ever stop. Like, it made me so happy. So I went to the skate park with grand opening of Oxnard Skate Park. And we never had a park. Like, we used to have this mobile park we'd go to, and that was like the closest thing to a real skate park we ever had. And it was like, like they'd, they'd come to this park by my house every Wednesday and like Tuesday. And then they'd go somewhere else every other day. And like, anyway, so I met this dude, Jay Bug, And he's such a big brother, man. Like, he's just, he was way older than me. But like he saw like how passionate I was about skateboarding and like kind of nurtured it. And I mean like every time we went skating like he had my back or like his friends like to drink a lot and do drugs or whatever. And like he would come up to he'd go up to them every single time and be like, hey bro, like don't offer my little homie anything. All right, we're gonna have a problem. All right, just don't. <laughs> we're seeing him doing that. He's like, he doesn't have to do that. Like I don't want to do drugs. <laughs> like I don't want to drink. But like, he did it anyways, and like now I look back at it and I'm like, what a fucking homie. Obviously he's tripping seeing me <laughs> I actually fucking landed it. All right, all right, let's keep going. Thank you, full cab. That's Los Cerritos. Double flip. So I've I I probably could double flip something, but I haven't done that in a million years, man. But that little four block, it was like really tall but short. It was a really good four block, but perfect practice four block. Like you learn something on a gap. That's like kind of the skate park gap. That'd be the spot to take it to next. Front side flip on Hollywood 12. That is actually like, I think about that now. And that's kind of gnarly. And like, and it's funny, you see my sister sitting on the stairs in the background, just watching it, like front row seat. And that's how it was though, man. Like uh, my sister Lorena and like, she supported me so much. I think, I think everybody around me kind of saw how badly I wanted it and like, she saw that too and wanted to help me through it so she would give me rides to like wherever i needed to go and she'd be there watching me she'd be sometimes she'd be the one filming but it's just funny like a lot of the clips in this sponsor me video you see them in the background my ender they're literally chilling like you go on a skate sesh now with like a, a team or somebody like they're gonna be like could you guys get the fuck out of the way like we don't need anything in the background and they're just like sitting there and I think they're just eating snacks and like watching as I go, as I spin and flip the board and roll away from one of the gnarliest tricks I've ever done. 
And it's just, it's so humbling. But let's keep it going. Front side flip on Hollywood 12. Pretty proud of that. Board slide on Hollywood 16. So I feel like everybody that goes to Hollywood 16 kind of gets the same vibe. If I could do it down to 12, I could do it down to 16. Because it's literally a replica of the same stair, just a little bit bigger. So I went there, I board slid the Holly, uh, Hollywood 12. And I'm like, fuck. And like, I went there to board slide the 12. I had no intentions whatsoever to board slide the 16. But then after I did it, I'm like, well, this one over here is just like, like, you know what I mean, you really think about it and you break it down. It's like, it's only like five feet longer. So wouldn't it be the same? So I, I yeah. Did I you board slide it the same day? The, the same 16, day, yeah. The 16 also? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you did? So like, I was going to use the board slide on the 12 for my sponsor video. But after I did it, I got so juiced and I kept looking at it. I'm like, I'm gonna go for the 16. Awesome. And I actually did it. I actually went for it and I slid a couple times because it was scary and yeah. I just landed and rolled away. I'm was like, Is that oh. the day you email and grabbed it also? No, was wait. Different day? Actually, no, I'm, I am I did. I board to the 12, I board to the 16, and then I mail and grabbed it right after. This was two weeks after I did the splits. Like, I, wa I wanted to go back so bad that, like, it's just, like, I went back immediately. Kind of, like, yeah. once my body started feeling, you That's know, cool. I wasn't in pain yeah. anymore. So let's keep going. Board slide. Oh, man. So this is Newberry double set. Back heel, back three. Uh, I forgot the other trick. Back I, I actually, that same day, I tried. Let me see. Back 360. Yep. That same day, I stuck back three flip. But I couldn't roll away. It was, like, when I was first learning it. And I just couldn't roll away. So I did all those tricks and so here's the thing. I said I, I, I made all these other sponsor me videos and like they they didn't work out. So my buddy Jay Bug at the time, he knew I was trying to make this video. I've been trying so hard. He knew a guy, Benny Magliano. He actually he was he worked for fucking Alien Workshop for a little bit. Like he convinced him to help me make my sponsor me video. And like at the time I was filming with a high eight camera and like he convinced him to start filming me. And like he had a VX1000 and I remember it perfectly, dude. The first time I ever saw a VX1000 camera, I was just like, oh, he's a pro filmer. Like he's a pro filmer. You know what I mean? You're a little kid and just like, whoa, like he's got the equipment. He's pro for sure. And like, I was super juiced. And then like, I could tell he was kind of like, I don't know. But then we went out, he's like, let's just go out skating one day, film him, let me know what you think. And we went and we skated and immediately he was just like, Moose, let's keep filming, dude. Like, he was just so hyped on, like, how... I mean, I, I guess I was pretty good. I was decent. But also, too, at that time, I, I was just so fearless. Like, I'd go to a spot, and, like, my tricks didn't take anything longer than, like, 15, 20 minutes for me to land it. Front salad. Oh, my God. Front salad, front blunt. That was the first handrail I ever 50 50 Sequoia in Newberry Park. And that's, like, a kind of legendary spot. You had the whole girl team skating it, Mikey Taylor... That rail was so little and perfect that like, even at that time, I felt comfortable wanting to skate it. And it was actually, yeah, first rail I ever grinded. Same thing, I got juice. Benny was there filming with this. In my eyes, it was like, it's like filming with Ty Evans for the first time. You're like, this is the guy. I have to prove myself kind of thing. So I grew some balls and did all those other tricks. Let's see, back salad. That was actually the best rail in the world on Fillmore, Fillmore High School. Best rail in the goddamn world. Sean Malto, Nolly Front Crook, Mikey Taylor, I think he knows, Nolly knows blended it. Front cover of Thrasher. Beautiful day at the time. It's really weird too, because like your tricks change as you grow older. You know what I mean? I can't back salad anymore. I can't. I really can't fucking do it, dude. But that day I was just like back salad and I, I did it. I was just barely venturing into like skating handrails and like getting comfortable with it. And yeah, pulled a back salad. Pretty cool. Kickflip Indy. The only reason why I ever learned kickflip Indies is because of Ryan Sheckler. He uh, he won X Games one year, and like he threw a kickflip Indy in the middle of his run. And like me being a kid, seeing that, I'm like that is so cool. So I kickflip Indy 99 cent dog. And then here we go, Santa Barbara. Yeah, that spot's gone. Front side flip. What's crazy is like I wish they would have filmed that front side flip long lens because it comes in so quick. And like I actually did it really good. That's a really good front side flip. Hold on, I gotta see it one more time. Isn't that a good front side flip, dude? Look at that. That one is good. Just like straight to my feet. That's uh, And then Nolly heel. Okay, now the four block. Nolly heel, back three, front three. So for one, you have to like curve into that four block to skate it. 
And like, I look now that I think about it, to back three it, you have to go against the grain and then spin the complete opposite way. It'd be very hard. And I did it pretty damn perfect. Like, it was pretty crazy. Like, I, I just like, and then front three. I've never front th threed anything in my life. That was the only time I ever front threed anything in my life. And I, I look at it and I'm just like, and I remember that day. I remember I back three it. I was sessioning the whole thing and like Benny was just like, you should try front threeing it, Moose. And I'm like, should I try it? Like, almost like I would have never tried it if he hadn't asked. And like, he was like a god to me in my eyes. Like, I gotta impress him. So like, I was like, well, I'll try it. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> like, started trying a trick I'd never done or even thought about trying that day. And just the amount of motivation I had to try to like impress him. Tray flip, That's so that's the same gap as the back three into that piece of wood. So you can kind of see how he laid piece of wood down like you know tray flip i mean i don't got much to say about that one i didn't even like the way i did it but and then there's the melon grab so melon grab was the same day as the board slide i'm wearing the same clothes okay so yeah awesome. actually i'm pretty sure i front side flipped it that day too i think it was board slide the 12 front side flipped the 12 and then board slide the 16 and then i melon grabbed it <laughs> damn like i was just like i gotta get it all done now yeah. Because it's like I couldn't drive out there myself. Right, you're, you're still I had to, in high school. That, and I had to take yeah. advantage of the ride that I got yeah. and do the most of it. All right, let's see here. Now back three flip. So I went, I went to the 99 cent dock to try to back three flip it three days in a row. The first two days I battled it for like three hours until my body couldn't go no more, and then I just gave up. That first one with my cup tea, that was one of the first days, and that was the closest I got. So we just threw it in there. That third day we went there and it was a big squad, dude. It must've been like 20 heads or something. We um, we pulled up and like I had been, you know, and at the time it was like, it wasn't like I tried it this one day and then I waited like a couple months to go back. It was like the second my body felt good again, I went back. So I went back like four days in between every time. On that third day, it just, it's really funny because I remember it perfectly. I just kind of like, it was almost like I wasn't thinking hard and like, I wasn't like overthinking it. I was just like, just, just try it and like loosen up a little bit. And I still trip out on it till this day because mostly when, when you see someone do a back three flip, they, they catch a backside flip and then kind of whip it. You know what I mean? I just spin the whole way and it follows me underneath. And I feel like I just like timed it right. And then I just happened to land on it perfect. And I just rolled away. And I remember it felt so surreal, just like rolling away. I'm like, did I really just do that? Like, holy shit. It was just so like, whoa, dude. But yeah, let's let's play it. That was boom. Dude, it was so crazy. Look at that full spin. Jeez. And, and, and look, just like I said, you see my sister, my two sisters and their friend. They're just literally sitting there watching me fly right across that thing. Look at them. Just chill, look at them. Oh, is that them right yeah, there? Yeah, they're just chilling. And it, that would never be acceptable on like a real skate right. sesh. You know what I mean? That's so funny. And yeah, so, I, I mean, that's the last clip that pretty much wraps it up. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, that's that's me at a, a, my Grom age. 14, 15, pretty much. So, all right, guys. And like, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, please. Like the videos. Just show it love, because the better the videos do, the motivated we get. And not only just that, but like hopefully our funds can grow and then we could do way cooler shit. Basically just hear us talk more, I guess, and do what we do. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.